Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and today I'm out here for a second attempt at cleaning up this pond. It's being taken over by pond lilies, and I don't want that to spread into the new part we just dug, so I want to get those cleaned out. In the first video about this, I tried to pull them out by hand, then I tried to pull them out with the backhoe on the tractor. Both of those were pretty much a fail. So, I took the advice of all the people in the comments section, and I'm going to chemically treat those pond lilies. Let me show you what I got. I got advice from a couple people who had experience with this. They recommended, probably hard to see on there, this is Catplex. The cat part is for cattails. And this is Plex Mate, which is a surfactant. Basically, it makes whatever is in your other mix stick to the leaves. So what we're gonna do is mix this up per the directions into spray bottles. I've got a backpack sprayer, and then I've got some of these. We'll see which one's more convenient. Then I'm gonna take the kayak and get in there and try to spot spray all of these pond lilies. The next thing is a product called Muckaway. I was really skeptical about this product. So when you step off in our pond, there's like a 10 inch thick layer of just sludge. I step, stepped in it with my muck boots on and it was the kind of mud where you can't pull your foot back out. And I think that's all the way across, it's a foot deep. But I read the reviews on this muck away. It's a beneficial bacteria that breaks down that muck and kind of clears it up. So we're gonna treat it with this. And then the last thing we're gonna do is treat it with crystal blue to see if we can make it look a little nicer. So I'm going to read the instructions and mix this just per instructions on these two products. Fill these up and then we'll get the boat in the water and see how it goes. Anyone want to place any wagers about if I fall in? I would bet that I do. If you're interested in any of the products I use today, there will be Amazon links in the description of the video. So obviously there's nothing complicated about this process. It was just getting the coordination down to pump the handle on the backpack sprayer without tipping the kayak over. But outside of that, it was just time consuming. I was planning to take one of the GoPro cameras in the kayak with me so that I could have more footage of it. But once I was in that boat, I wasn't getting back out and I forgot the other camera. So we got one angle on this. Man, I always had a story about the city line and the crazy nights. Figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant, paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big I think I go back where I came from Where everybody knows my name My friends are still the same I guess the slow life hit me just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Hell, and you can take your nine to five
Well, that probably went a little bit better than I thought. The extra weight of that big sprayer wanted to kind of tip the boat, but once I got that centered and put it between my knees, it was not that bad to just go through and spray it. But now, let's get the dye and that muck away and see how you treat it. Even though I didn't tip the boat over, whenever I stepped out of the boat, I was still in too deep and uh, filled my boots with water. And of course, these boots are really tight on me, so having a hard time getting them off. <laughs> good times, good times. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. I'd like to do that again, just for the heck of it. Let's see if I can get the other one off. All right, so let's check the dosing on this crystal blue. It says, apply one container of crystal blue per acre of water with an average depth of four to six. So it sounds like we need about a half a bottle. So I'll just take this around the outside edge pour it in make sure there's no other important instructions here now we might be able to see the results on this crystal blue pretty quick but on the catplex it says uh, two to four days or for established plants up to a week so but I'm gonna be back out here I'm still renting that excavator and finishing this project so we'll be back out here and show you how well it works If you have not been following along with the pond dig project, I've added this section to the right and this remaining peninsula is going to be dug out to be an island and I've got a bridge that's going to cross over to the other side. I should have spread this while I was in the boat, but even though it's going to just sit in one place for a little bit, it'll spread on its own eventually. Well, I actually dumped more than I should have right here. So I put the rest of the dose on the other side of the pond. See if I can stir it up a little bit. All right, let me read the instructions on the muck away. So with this, what we're trying to get rid of is that old thick sludge at the bottom and this says if used properly let me find it muck away is so effective that when used regularly it can remove up to two inches of muck per month so it would take me probably a year of treating this for it to get rid of that muck if it even works all right so the instructions say this does an area that is a thousand square feet which would be like 25 by 40. I've never taken the measurements on this pond, but I'm gonna say it's gonna take the full bucket. So rather than doing full scoops, I'm gonna do partial scoops and just go all the way around the bank and toss these in. And it's gonna take a while to see if there's good results from this. But there's no muck on this side, so I don't need any over there. I'm just gonna broadcast these out off the bank a little bit. All right, within a week, I'll try to do an update on how effective these treatments were. And I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.